Real quick, we're on our way down to the Veg Fest. Veg Fest. Veg. Veg Fest. It's a vegan festival. As you know, my wife is a vegan, and she's forcing the boys and I <laughs> to go. Um, well, not so much forcing. Um, I always get drugged into these things, so this is the first one I'm going to. But. We're on our way down here in Palm Beach. So I forgot yeah. to say it. So I'll say it. Continue to watch this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit like, comment, share. Do all that fun stuff. Look at our previous videos so you can learn a little bit more about us. And... So we're back, we're home um, from the Palm Beach Veg Fest. How did you like it? It was alright. <laughs> so when um, we first got there, um, they had um, the animal cruelty um, vendor mm -hmm. and it was, what was the name of it? I what? I animal. I animal. Yeah. And so it was a virtual reality um, face thingy. What are those things called? Yeah, the little yeah virtual. I guess. Virtual reality. Yeah. So it was just basically showing like the treatment of animals, you know, that are going to the slaughter. So basically, they're born to die, right? Born to just eat and then die. Um, eat it. Oh, eat for them to and eat, then die. Then they die. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was different. I didn't do it, but he did it. Yeah. So how was that for you? Um, I mean, it, it made me feel some type of way. Seen. He was slitting the throats, and then it's just them upside down, just going around. This thing. They said within six weeks they gain so much weight that once they get to a certain size, that they can't even walk because they're so heavy. They're too heavy for their legs, so they'll like. You, I was looking around, you see a lot of chickens just sitting down because they're too big to walk. And then basically some people came in and started grabbing up the chickens by their legs, like by the threes and the fours, and four in each hand, walking them out. You go into another room, and um, they were hanging the chickens upside down by their feet. And then it was like a conveyor belt type of thing, but they were upside down, so it was like whining. And they were going... <laughs> Why do you keep laughing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at this fact of this. I'm just laughing at my wife's reaction in my head because I know okay. I feel. Um, so oh. moving on. <laughs> you got to make new hat. Um, so we went and we tried um, different foods. They had mm -hmm. lots of vendors there. Um, there weren't as many. As Orlando. Yeah, yeah, Orlando was dope. Orlando the one I dope. went to in I Miami like was really dope too. But I just wish they had more options. So I think it was on the like one or two places that was selling dessert. And then it was kind of like one of everything else. But anyway, um, like I didn't see any vegan um, cheese vendors. I didn't see. Yeah, like I this. Know, I Because I, 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 how old is that? How long have they been running? Uh, Viola? Yeah, no, that. Yeah, oh, Bed oh, Fest. oh, Bed Fest? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Because those um, other ones seem like they're pretty well established. Cause it was like, when we went to Orlando, it was ridiculous. I was like, it was a culture shock type of thing for me. Cause I was like, these are a bunch of hippies walking up. That's, I told you that. Cause the people who dress, vegans are weird. I'm, huh? Except my wife. Um, First like, of all, you need to say some vegans. Some oh vegans my gosh, are weird. I'm so offended. No, I, like, okay, don't stress them. You saw the, the dude, the day, the, you know, they, I don't know, the stuff that they wear sometimes, and they be barefoot, like, like, come on, bro. I think like, walking barefoot is not appropriate, but, so, um, okay. But I didn't see anybody dress different. This is, this one that we went to, it was, you know, it wasn't bad. But like the vibes, like the vibes are great. I be wanting what you to mean? see people. I be thinking I'm gonna see people. But like, and if you do, then that's freaking cool. That's yeah. It's different. Not weird. Not weird. I'm sorry. It's awesome to me. 
Uh, that's why I love going to Vegan Fest because everyone is all like super cool, so down to earth. The energy is always, yeah, well, they're high off life and not held down by eating freaking graveyard foods and stuff. Sure. Your body is a graveyard. So the only thing that I really, okay, so I'm not against vegetarianism, veganism, whatever it's called. My problem or struggle would be like, the textures of vegetables do not appeal to me. The texture is like, you buy it's like, ugh. Like some of the stuff is like slimy. Like, why are you slimy? Like, and then it's, if you just cooked it and it still like has that texture, I'm like, yo, it needs to get it together. If it, like jackfruit. I could do me some jackfruit. I love me some jackfruit. jackfruit. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's the closest thing to me that I, Seen or had, I think, right? Correct me yeah. if I'm wrong. Um, so well, Jack, you had the ground beef. well, yeah, I had that. Yeah, it's all right, it's okay. But some the dude explained to me, he was like, Man, it's all about how it's seasoned mostly because he was like, Even if you how he broke it down to me, he was like, Even if you just fry up some meat or cook up some meat and you don't season it, you're not gonna really enjoy it. So, like, I told you that when you, you probably did, yes. Your foods are seasoned from plants. That's yeah. why when it smells good, that's not the meat. Oh, the blood smells good. That's not it. It's the vegetables, the spices that makes food smell good and taste good. So you can season anything. That's why I always say season your vegetables as if it was meat. She does say that. Yes. But like I can't, mushrooms, no. Oh, mushrooms um, are great. You like the, the, the oyster mushrooms that I had, that I fried? Yeah. Again, that was fried. So it's like, you know what I mean? So anyway, so like today we had some jackfruit, um, some uh, pinchos, which is uh, Puerto Rican. It's like a kebab, but they call it pinchos. Shish kebab. Yeah, shish kebab. Um, but the guy let me try them fried with like some batter on it, some jackfruit. Um, it, was, it was delicious. I already like jackfruit. But sometimes if it's not cooked right, the texture is still a little, not slimy, but it's like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but jackfruit is very delicious um, and I can definitely, that's my biggest thing, like hot wings, I love some hot wings and the way he cooked it up, I believe that would be my game changer for me. What was the name of that um, Puerto Rican vendor? Yeah. I don't know how to say it. Mm -hmm. don't I don't remember. remember. It was, I'm gonna, I, um, didn't, I didn't even look at the name. I'm gonna, when I post the video, then I'll write what it is. Yeah. Um, so that's all you better do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I should, we should quit that part. And we also tried a reggae truck. Mm -hmm. It was called reggae beats. Jackfruit again. Yes. So I got the jerk jackfruit bowl. And it came with jerk jackfruit, uh, rice and peas, and plantains. Those were... <laughs> The one that she has already is Caleb. Caleb eats anything anyway, so he's yeah. good with whatever. So it's just basically him and my six-year-old. But um, it's all a process, and because I'm tired of cooking two meals, I cannot keep doing that. I cook sometimes for myself. I cook sometimes for myself. Every once in a blue moon. How long has it been since you cooked? Perfect, Lodi, you, you usually get home around four-ish, so you would cook. Or you, you know what I mean? Because my baby loved me, she liked catering to me, so she would do that, and I understand. So that's, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I, can cook. I know how to cook. I know how to cook. I ain't, it ain't the old Keith back in the days where it was hot dog, pork and beans and hot dogs, you know, a bowl of cereal. Um, what else I used to like? Some chicken wings. I, listen, okay, I can't do that right now because we talking about that going vegan anyway. and stuff, but wings. So say my wings ain't blessing. Yes, your wings used to be very, very good. I was just telling somebody, oh, like okay. we used to have, our date night would be like, we'll have a big old plate. Big plate. And half of it would be french fries, half of it would be his hot wings, and we'll just chill, watch a movie or whatever, and that was a super dope night. I remember that, and we could still do that, just half of it 
I told you I could do the jackfruit now. Yes. The way he cooked it up, I'll do that. Exactly. But yeah, so. But anyway, uh, I think that it's a. Um, this is how it is. You know, people always ask me, oh, you're vegan, is your family vegan? And no, they're not. <laughs> and it is hard on me. I'm just going to say my thing and then you can say yours. Now, for me, it is hard. I really, 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 really wish that he would go vegan. Um, and not just vegan, but a healthy vegan um, because I'm into health and fitness as well. So it'll just make life a lot easier. Um, it won't be so many, uh, so much temptation. Um, and I just feel like, like when we go to restaurants, if you was a healthy vegan we'll be able to pick the same um, restaurant or rather rather than um, having to pick two places to eat or me eating like freaking oh, like the what, sides yeah the sides I want like a real meal and I can't have it if I go to a regular restaurant how is that for you me for me being a vegan so again I say my battle with her is she throws me out in the deep end like she'll cook a vegan meal it asked me if I want some, and then I asked her what it is, and it's like half of the stuff I even never even heard of. Which is why I don't want to tell you what it is. So, anyway, so that's my battle with her. Um, I think if we were both transitioning at the same time, it would have made it easier for me. Um, but, you know, I'm open to it. Um, how open? You know, that's still the question. Um, I like to try different things with her, like she'll have me try stuff. I'll try it, but again, if it's that my yeah, I I I am sure y'all get an understanding of what I'm where I'm coming from with the whole level of the It is a lot of interesting stuff, but she'll show me some something like that's not meat or what? This is plant when she had me taste it, I'm like that's pretty that's pretty dope. That's why I'm open to transitioning, but she got to work with me, man. She don't be trying to hear it. Like, yes, I do. And then when I tell her about it, she she downgrade me, go to talking crazy, because I eat meat. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Like, how you trying to build somebody up, but you break them down at the same time? How do I break you down? I'm just saying, like, no, I'm no. Not, Give an example. We're moving on. I, if you eat meat, I don't be like, ew, you're a meat eater? Gross. <laughs> I am so not one of those vegans. I'm a lazy vegan. I say that all the time that I'm a lazy vegan. Not that serious. Sometimes she do her little things where she'll throw something in there to try to make you feel convicted in the spirit of, like, should I be eating this type of thing. Sometimes. Yeah, more, you don't more, do it. More health-wise. You don't do like, it much anymore. I guess. Anyway, but, okay, we just wanted to share... Um, our experience with you and so you can um, kind of see the opinion of a meat eater going to a vegan fest and a vegan going to a vegan fest. I really enjoyed myself. I love vegan fest so much. Um, so yeah, you enjoyed it as well? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and another misperception um, for people who are thinking about going vegan or, or cutting out meat. Um, People think that you lose weight, you lose muscle mass, whatever. There's a lot of options out there. They have vegan protein and different things like that. So that for me, that isn't that hasn't ever been a question for me because she always straightened me with that. If I did, oh, like she'll come. Oh, where did you get your protein? She loves saying that. Like you know what I mean? Because people ask, oh, you don't eat meat, so where do you get your protein? But I get plenty of protein. You get plenty of protein. I, I can admit it. Um, so you know, um, as far as me like wanting to bulk up a little bit more and get trimming everything I'll still be able to um, and also it'll help with your core getting your stomach right you know cutting out meat so if you're trying to get ripped up that is another way you definitely can you don't need to eat chicken breast and whatever else to try to bulk up so yeah just wanted to put that in as a side note all right so that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and make sure you go and look, go Google and see if you can find a vegan fest because I'm pretty sure they have one in your city or around your city that, they, that you can go to. It's lots of fun and also don't be afraid of the vegan life, okay? There are tons of foods that you can eat. Anything that a meat eater eats you can find a way to vegan buy it. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching, you guys. We love you. God